And with this breakfast in our bellies, it's now time to see why me and 100,000 of my closest friends have decided to day trip to Canton. I mean, this place is like a city in itself that includes over 5,000 vendors across 300 acres. First Monday trade days. You know, she did say, bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. And by the end of this day, I will be both tired and poor. Thank you. First Monday is a time-honored tradition here in Canton that goes back to the 1800s. In those days, the traveling circuit judge would come to town once a month on the first Monday. So folks started gathering to see the judge, but also to trade their wares. A dog for a gun, a chicken for a saw, a cantaloupe for a mule maybe a cheap mule and from there well you can see how far it's come to give us some insider knowledge this is current mayor and lifelong resident luann everett luann this is crazy i oh, mean the, the, right? the amount of people that get dumped down here the amount of vendors well it runs over thursday friday saturday and sunday so it's four days wait i thought it was first monday first oh just well <laughs> no. monday's not the biggest day anymore in fact, by Monday, everyone's packed up and headed home. But for the weekend before, it's on like Junkie Kong. You grew up in Canton, right? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I sold gerbils. My, I, have, I had gerbils as a kid, and I'd get too many of them. I'd come down here in a cage, and I would sell them, and the kids would love them, and I'd get rid of the gerbils. You're kidding me. Make a couple extra bucks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than a lemonade stand, I guess. These days, animals are about the only thing not sold or swapped here on site. You have to head across town for that. But in the past, well, the rules were a little looser. One of the funnest things that ever happened was two men met and they decided to change wives. So they went into the courthouse and, you know, got their wives all swapped out. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come down here and even find a new wife. Uh, well, <laughs> probably not swap wives. Oh, okay, but, you know, yeah. Hey, anything's possible. <laughs> anything's nowadays. possible in Canton. There's still no telling what you'll find scattered across these grounds. Like freeze-dried sour worms? That's a first, even for me. They look like big Cheetos. They do. <laughs> I call it cotton candy. It goes, Whoa! <laughs> Did you get the, I got a sweet one. Woo! That's sour. That is bizarre. That's like, uh, you ever buy astronaut ice cream as a kid? It's like yeah, freeze-dried? Yeah. That's what this is. When we start uh, day-tripping to space, we'll bring a big bucket of these. Man, this is... You got actual junk and junk food. Absolutely. That's a perfect... it, does, it goes better than that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't come here to save money or calories. Thank you. World famous canned lemonade. Can't come to trade days without the world famous lemonade? Woo! It's going to help me power through. On we junk. You come to Canton for a junk and good time. So let's go shopping. No, I don't quite know where to jump in on this. There's so many different boots, it's endless. This is the Texas Christmas Elf right here, see? No need for long coats and pants. Which one do you think my wife wants for Christmas? You think she would rather three gentlemen at a bar or hunter and dog? Safety first. For cases of extreme junking. You just never know. Could you be a deer and share this chair with me, please? You don't have a thing for old taxidermy, right? All right, got a riddle for you. What's a sign you love to see it come, but you hate to see it go? This is the sign that lets the day tripper know he should stop and turn around. Right there. You seen this one? I don't know where that one is. Oh, it had a T in it. I, I thought it was can Canton. You see a turtle on the highway like this, then you stop, help the brother out. They need to go like that. Oh man, this is rough. This poor kid is getting dunked on for all of eternity. You know what they call that? Getting LeBrons. <laughs> That's a great joke. I can do that. Credit goes to Greg. That's a funny joke, though. That's a funny joke. Hey, my old buddy. I mean, this guy loves East Texas. All right, I found you. Tag, you're it. Watch the full episode on your local PBS station or check out thedaytripper.com for travel guides and more info.